Incredible, incredible work. First of all, Deborah, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, you have a great track record as a documentary filmmaker with uh, Versailles 73 and, of course, Olympic Pride, American Prejudice. What's it like making that transition now into, like, kind of more of the narrative realm? Well, you know, it's super exciting. As a storyteller, I try not to box myself in by medium, so whether it's documentary or feature. Um, but this was a story I really wanted to tell, and um, you, you know my work intimately because your grandfather's included in uh, Olympic Pride, American Prejudice. But to be able to work with actresses um, and to be able to work with Jasmine Guy is you know, yeah. that, that's kind of like one of those dream moments, yeah. but also to be able to connect with actresses and really help bring what I wrote on paper to life. It was a different muscle, but um, I think I love being a leader just from corporate America to doing documentaries to now. I think it's really important to be able to put a package together, yeah. team, cast, crew, right. and tell the story that you want to tell in an impactful way, sure. but in an entertaining way. So I love the transition, sure. but I'll go back and forth. I'll do docs, I'll do features. Okay. I just want to tell stories that mean something to people. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And, and so uh, as a storyteller and uh, with a film like Illegal Roles, Things being what they are in this country today, the climate, current climate, uh, what, what's it like to kind of explore that space as an actor? Well, I think Atlanta is fertile ground for actors right now. I mean, I moved back to Atlanta 10 years ago. The industry was booming. I had no idea because my parents lived there. That's why I moved back. But, you know, to see our filmmakers, our actors, our set designers, our costume designers get this kind of work that we would have to travel to LA to do right. or or New York to do. I love that. Yeah. That that really excites me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm rooting for Hollywood to understand that we got the talent here. Right. Right. And this as our filmmaker, yeah. one of three that I've worked with in Atlanta. Okay. I'm so proud, so proud to be a part of it. Oh, uh, so proud, absolutely. And so what was it, really? So please tell us a little bit about what it's like, because it's such a, a, a wrenching human tale. What was it like to kind of take on that, that, that character and embody that skin for this particular film? Yeah, it's always important to me as an actor to use my platform for positive change and education. Just in this film alone, I was educated on so many things, including sponsoring a child. Um, and also understanding that it's happening right here at home in Atlanta, in LA, in New York, in places I didn't even know right around the corner. Um, and most importantly for me, again, just like she said, it's Deborah. I joined on for her. She's a legend. She's talented. She's inspiring. She's everything. And so, yeah, I'm here for that. Well, yeah, absolutely. I can totally understand it. And speaking of Deborah's incredible, amazing talent, uh, up next for you.